uh, have our first visit of the series to the big red chair. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> oh my god, calm down, calm down. <laughs> calm down, guys. Here we go. Hi, who's there? Oh my goodness. Hello, sir. <laughs> Hi, Graham. Okay. <laughs> uh, what's your name, sir? Uh, Curtis. Curtis, wow. And uh, are you <laughs> under eight feet? Yes. How tall are you? Uh, 5'10". No. You must have really short legs and then an extraordinary <laughs> long body. Yeah. Is that kind of it? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. And, uh, and what do you do, Curtis? Uh, I'm a labourer. Okay. And uh, where are you from? New Zealand. Oh, we love a New Zealander. We love a New Zealander. And what sort of, when you say labour, do you mean buildings? Yes, yeah. So what are the things you're building? Uh, just renovations in Chelsea, so... Oh, yeah. Just, um, all I do is cut timber around the yard. You cart timber around a yard? Yeah. Okay, that's all five foot ten of him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, off you go with your story, Curtis. All right, it was about five years ago, first time meeting my partner's uh, father. Here they decided to play a game of training. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> there you go, a little bit of animation. Well done. <laughs> I thought you were going to tell me my dogs were dead. You just, see, you just sat there going, it was about five years ago. <laughs> it didn't, I didn't really feel you were in anecdote mode. <laughs> okay, Curtis, you're on now, you're on now. Look at you. Oh, blood's a-flowing. Go, go, go! They, 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 they tried to make us play cranium. They pull out the charades. Oh, here, yeah? Here it says on the card that I have to milk a cow. I didn't really know how to act this out, so I get my girlfriend, first time meeting the father on the floor on all four knees, start pretending to milk the teeth in front of your father. <laughs> how did that go? Uh, it was pretty silent. It was quite a long, <laughs> long journey between meetings. <laughs> you, you deserve to be flipped, but it was a good story. Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh, now you seem nervous. Very. Oh, don't be. The worst thing that happened is the chair flips back. That's I the know. worst thing that can happen. <laughs> well, I say that now. Uh, what, what's your name? Melanie. Melanie. All right, Melanie. And uh, what do you do, Melanie? I am a Meals on Wheels delivery driver. Oh, wow. Whereabouts? In Hemel Hempstead. In Hemel Hempstead. Okay. So people watching in Hemel Hempstead will go, oh, my God, there's that woman who brings the cold dinners. Yeah. There she is. <laughs> 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 Melanie's laughing because here they are. <laughs> I park up for hours. Uh, <laughs> all right, Melanie, off you go with your story. Okay, um, well, I've always had rubbish hair. It's always been very fine and weak, and I tried every lotion and potion to make it better. Yes. Um, and many years ago, I was working in London with my boyfriend, and I read in an article in Cosmopolitan about this revolutionary new treatment of sperm on your hair to um, add protein and body and everything to your hair. So I, I went and found my boyfriend and said, look, I've got to have this treatment and you've got to give me the sperm because um, it was 50 pounds if you had the treatment there at Tony and Guy, but it was 20 pounds if you took your own. And also I didn't- Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Tony and Guy provided sperm? <laughs> is, this t is this Tony's or Guy's? <laughs> And, and it was also £20 if I took my own and £50 if I paid. What, for corkage? <laughs> <laughs> why would it be £20 if you bring your own? <laughs> this is a great story. Anyway, on you go. Anyway, so um, I rushed and found my boyfriend and I said, please, I've got to have this done and it's cheaper and I don't want other men's sperm on my head. <laughs> so he said that was OK. So I went straight to the phone, called the number and said, please, can you book me in as soon as possible? And the guy said, um, have you checked the date? on the article, and it was the 1st of April. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you let him walk? Yeah, you let him walk. You've given us five. You can walk. You can walk. Uh, right, uh, do, is somebody else in the chair? <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi, what's your name? I'm Cara. Cara? And where are you from, Cara? I'm from New York. Really? Yes. What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> Um, I'm a theatre director, and I think the theatre scene here is much more stimulating than in New York, to be honest. Who knew? <laughs> we don't have time for this. <laughs> Shit the rest of your life, dude, and you, you know, she, know you know she didn't, though, James. Yeah, right, you right, know right, right. she didn't. She finds the theatre scene stimulating. <laughs> One more, one more. Okay, one more, one more. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hi. 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 Sir. How are you? 
I'm good, thank you. Uh, what's your name? My name's Debbie. And where are you from? I'm from California. Wow. We you... love you in the United oh, States. Oh, thank you. No, thank you. And, uh, <laughs> do you find the theater scene stimulating here? Oh, incredibly, yes. I thought you would. <laughs> now, uh, now, what, what do you do, nice woman? I'm retired. Okay, what did you used to do? I used to raise money. Okay. Wow. Off you go with the story. Well, I was running for the U.S. Congress, and it was the... Wait a minute! Have <laughs> <laughs> we, we slipped into a parallel universe? <laughs> <laughs> we have a congresswoman hopeful in the red chair. No how, more. <laughs> how exciting. So you're running for Congress. I was running for Congress, and it was election morning. <laughs> Can I just say, I thought you were going to say running for a bus, running... <laughs> Running for Congress? I re okay, sorry, go. Okay, so I was running for Congress, and it was election morning, and a group of us were standing beside the road, uh, a lot of us, parents, kids, grandparents, the mayor, and uh, we were all waving, waving the American flag, and the traffic's running by, and a man yelled out of his car, I'll vote for you if you show me your tits. And my campaign manager turned to me and he said, don't you say a thing. Well, I was there to get votes, so I yelled back at the guy, come back around. And he did, and I did, and there was a big pile up. <laughs> Who's up there? Hello. Hey. hey. Hi. How you doing? I'm, I'm very well. What's your name, sir? My name's George. George. And you're from Canada, America? Wimbledon. Wimbledon. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? Um, okay, George. And uh, do, you, do you have, have a job, laughed. George? I do. I do have a... I'm, I'm an animator. An animator. All right. Off you go with the story. Uh, I was on holiday to Antarctica on a small ship and a little ways in, things started to not go so well and didn't feel uh, like my normal self, you know, seasickness kicking in. Um, long story short, Good. couldn't hold it down. <laughs> it came up right into my hand and it, I just, knee-jerk reaction, slurped it right back up. No, that was gross, that one. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were going to say get it down. What would no, you, I'm what saying get it do, down. Oh, yeah, I know you were get it down, you're lovely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, don't waste that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, who's up next? Are they actually there, these people? Yeah. <laughs> Green screen. You are so Not used like to this now. Screen. I love this. Ian doesn't trust anything now. <laughs> are they really there? <laughs> One Direction, it, it might have been, I don't know. <laughs> Look like them. Uh, who do we have? Who do we have? Hello, sir. Uh, hello. Ronan and Keaton. <laughs> <laughs> Ronan, how are you? How are you, Ronan? Uh, what's your name, sir? I'm Sam. Sam. And uh, what do you do, Sam? I'm a comic book editor. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Animators and comic book editors. Uh, do you know the animator? Oh, uh, I wish. <laughs> going on back there? <laughs> <laughs> you just joined a line. You were like, oh, no, I'm in a chair. What's this? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sam. I assumed lumberjack, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go with this story, Sam. Uh, so a couple of years ago, I'm helping out in an orphanage in Romania. Can I just and... stop you there? Now we can't laugh. Uh, <laughs> it's such a lovely thing to do. There right, we go. No, you can. Um, <laughs> uh, so, um, I need a bit of a break, so I take the kid's dog for a walk. So I take the shortcut across a, um, across a farm in between us and the house. Um, all over the farm courtyard, there's what looks like dried hay. So I'm walking along with the dog, and then the dog just disappears. I'm thinking, where's the dog? Two seconds later, I'm up to my elbows in a cesspit. Um, I managed to get the dog out, but I can't get out myself. I'm slipping around, obviously covered in... Uh, Yes, sewage yes. and um and yeah so basically i'm in there for probably about five minutes and then when the farmer realizes i'm not playing around in the cesspit uh, he did actually help me out but um yeah i got covered in shit so <laughs> no good endings no good endings i'm i'm quitting i'm quitting well done everyone in the red chair who is up first hello hi how are you hello all <laughs> 
What, what's your name, sir? It's John. John. OK, John. Uh, uh, what, what do you do, John? I work as a commercials producer. I make ads. Oh, right. He makes odds. Ah. <laughs> and, uh, no, off you go, John. Odd? Wait, no, wait. What's what? an odd? Don't touch it. It's, oh, no. it, it's like an ad in Ireland. Oh, ad! <laughs> Looks like he's preparing to like tip my, my over. Odds, by the way. Like... I, his hands are gripping. Let me just say, like... he should be preparing. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go, John. Uh, when I was 11, I asked for in bed with Madonna for Christmas, and I actually got Michael Bolton's greatest hits instead from my parents. <laughs> so I saved up my pocket money and bought it, and my mother came home early one night when I thought she was out, and she sat down with me and she said, so what is this? And I said, oh, it's just a concert film, at the exact moment that Madonna climbed in the bed for the Like a Virgin scene in it, <laughs> and began to touch herself rather inappropriately throughout the song. And there was silence for about... 20 minutes and eventually I was asked to go to bed but the good thing was is that I think it gave my mother two years of hope that I might one day give her grandchildren when I started. <laughs> <laughs> That's a huge story. John, you can walk. Well done, John. There you go. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> John, John was very fashion forward there, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> that is not a January look. <laughs> name I'm guessing isn't Fred Mello. No, my name is Lucian. Lucian? <laughs> Lucian. What, 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 have you got, what have you got there, Lucian? Uh, I got a message for Madonna. Okay. Uh, the story is when she came to Romania for the first time, uh, we had to write a message as a national contest. And I won the contest and I won a signed photo from her. Thank you, Madonna. So I just had Wait a minute, to... that's what they gave you for writing the welcome message from an entire country? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like just a contest and I, I won. So this and is the winning entry? Yes, this is the winning entry. I just changed the first line because now it's better. So, dear Madge, uh, I know you're going to hear this message. I'm nervous and it takes a lot of Courage. This is my my way to say how much you mean to me. And after reading this, you'll know just how I feel. I've been a fan of yours since I was very young. Wait, this could be Shakespeare. I've been a fan of yours since I was very young. This is not Shakespeare. Your music is for me just like a drug. The rhythm and the beat makes me feel high. Sometimes the songs you sing, they make me cry. You always teach us to love oh, one Jesus. another, to express ourselves, to take care of us. Finally! <laughs> who's, who's up next? Hi, I'm Andrew. Oh, right. What do you do? I'm a headhunter. A headhunter? It sounds exciting when people say it, yeah, and then you yeah. remember how boring it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, off, off you go with your story. Okay, so my fiance is from the Czech Republic, and um, a big, big tradition there on Easter Monday, and this is fact, is the the girls beg to get whipped. <gasps> Wait, so what? what? Bit of a whipping. Bit of a okay, this is right. No, I think we're not. No. <laughs> okay, I don't know where we got these people from. <laughs> Were they, I don't know. Were they vetted? I, I, I love, I love Sally Duty. Were they vetted? <laughs> <laughs> it is like it is like we left the door open over the weekend. <laughs> Some people just wandered in. Okay, <laughs> next one, please. Hello. Hello. <laughs> What's your name? Petra. Petra. And where are you from, Petra? I'm Petra. from Czech Republic. Yeah. 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 Happy Easter. <laughs> yeah, <really. laughs> yeah. Sadly, was just like, Happy Easter. <laughs> I'm surprised she can sit down. <laughs> Is that true? Is it true? Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. We're begging to be whipped <laughs> on Easter Monday. No, Petra. Yeah. Can't, no, you, you don't beg to be whipped, do you, Petra? I do. <laughs> What's all that about? On, on an Easter Monday. Only on the Easter Monday. On an Easter Monday. Why? It's a tradition that um, <laughs> if you get whipped on Easter Monday, you will remain beautiful and healthy for the upcoming year. <laughs> Who came up with that one? Who came, yeah, really. I think it was I me. Think, I think a man came up with yeah, that really. one. Yeah, really. I don't think any woman kind of went, hmm. <laughs> or maybe she thought, maybe she thought, then I'll get it out of the way in the one day. <laughs> We won't be doing it again right, on right. Uh, Easter Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> Suppose it do you have a story, or are you just here I to do. 
Oh, you anyway, do have a story. Off I you go, off you go, yeah. So about three years ago, my fiancé and I, we went to Paris uh, for a romantic weekend. And at the hotel, I realized I don't have a toothbrush. So I decided to pop into the pharmacy while he was waiting outside. So I walked back out and I said, well, you would be surprised, but French people actually are really nice and polite. And he said, well, how come? And I said, well, if you show a bit of effort and speak a little bit of French instead of English, they really appreciate it. And he said, so what did you say? And I said, well, I walk in. I said, bonjour, monsieur, je voudrais. And, <laughs> and he started laughing hysterically and only then I realized he was You can walk. You can walk. We like you. Right, before we go, let's make uh, this week's visit to the big red chair. Hello. Who's there? Hello. Hi. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Henry. 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 Okay. Oh, my Henry. God. Uh-oh. Well, hey, do you, Henry. Do you know Henry? <laughs> I know a Henry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, where are you from, Henry? I'm from California. Okay. Oh. Oh. I know a Henry from California. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you really know? It's tough crowd. It's tough crowd. It's okay. They got their hands, Cindy. They got their hands. I love that. My name's Henry from California. Boom. Yeah. I've heard it. Henry, I love you. <laughs> okay, let's try one more. One more. Let's see if we can get... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hello. Hello. Hi. What's your name? I'm Paul. Paul. And what do you do, Paul? Uh, I work for a charity. Okay. Yeah, you work for a charity. We don't even know... I'm not even going to ask what it is. We'll just assume it's a really good one. Okay. Uh, so, off you go with your story. Okay, so I used to look after some charity shops in the north of England and I got a phone call from a concerned member of the public um, saying that there was a, a dubious object in a window display. So I rang the um, charity shop and spoke to the elderly volunteer on the phone and I said to her, can you just talk me through what's in your window display? And she said, oh yes, we've had uh, a lady come in the other day and she's donated this fantastic box of gym equipment. So we've kind of like put the mannequin in the window and we've put the shorts on him and then we've got the bench press and we've got the little springy thing um, and we've also got a, um, a neck massager as well. <laughs> and, uh, and I said to her, oh, um, and I tried to get around it a little bit and I said to her, oh, we're not really allowed to sell electrical goods. And she said, oh, well, there's no need to worry because it's battery operated. <laughs> I said, to her, I said to her, oh, right. And she said, don't worry, it does work, because me and the rest of the volunteers have been trying it in the back room. <laughs> and, I said to her, and I said to her, I don't know how to tell you this, um, Sandra, but I think it might be a vibrator. And there was a moment's pause on the edge of the phone, and then she just said, Mavis, get to the window! <laughs> Who is there? Hello. Hello, Graham. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. What's your name? Marlene. Marlene. And uh, where are you from, Marlene? South London. Okay. And what do you do in South London, Marlene? Um, I've just retired, actually. Really? Yes. You look too young. Early retirement. Of course it was. <laughs> and, uh, and what did you do? I was an early years educator in a nursery school. Okay. How long did you do that for? Oh, a long time. 30, nearly 30 years. Let's call it 40. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go with your story, Marlene. Well, I was working with a group of three and four year old children when mm -hmm. one little girl suddenly pipes up, My mummy's name is Karen. Then all the other children start to chip in and say what their mother's names are. One little boy said nothing, so I asked him, You know, what's your mummy's name? He says, Mummy. So I said, well, yes, she's your mummy, but um, she has a name, but he didn't seem to understand. So I said to him, um, what does daddy call her? He replied, a fat cow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. That's a joke. Can we flip on him? Flip on him walk. Flip or walk? Uh, flip walk. <laughs> Wow. I think Marlene flipped us off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk. Right? <laughs> While you're discussing it, I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> the guards have been distracted. Quick, over this way. Listen, if you'd like... Who be there? Hello, sir. Hi, how you going? Uh, very oh, good. Aussie. His baby rocks him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you done this before? No, mate. No, oh, okay. No, mate. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <how do> you, mate? <laughs> 
Very good. <laughs> very good. <laughs> so, where are you from originally? Um, Gold Coast. All right. And uh, are you here on holidays, or are you just...? Um, yeah, over here for 18 months, two years. Oh, right. Did so they kick him out? Yes. Right? <laughs> all, all, almost the length of a visa. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, what are you doing while you're here? Um, I'm a school teacher. <gasps> a school teacher? Oh, awesome. Yeah. What Ooh. age? What age do you teach? Uh, high school, secondary. Awesome. Wow. Yeah. Do you have a qualification? Uh, yeah. <laughs> do you really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to teach them what? I teach science and PE. Seems so unlikely, but all right. <laughs> science and PE. Here in England, you teach in England. Yeah, they, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Cool. To secondary it's an school. Odd science and PE. I've never yeah. known that combination before. It's clearly a private school. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jay. Off you go with your story. Okay. Well, basically, a couple of years ago, I had a serious knee injury, and I went and got an X-ray done. Uh, the X-ray was from the waist down, and I went to my girlfriend's place, and the, her parents wanted to see the X-rays, so. I held the uh, x-rays up against the window I was showing them and they started laughing. I didn't realise what they were laughing at and I looked at the x-ray and realised that as it was from the waist down there was a bit more on the x-ray than just my knee. <laughs> I'm very impressed if it got to your knee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Very impressive. Very good. Very good. OK, who's up next? Hello. Oh. Hello. Hello. And uh, what's your name? Amanda. Amanda. And where are you from, Amanda? Uh, Rickmansworth in Hertfordshire. Rickmansworth in Hertfordshire. Yes, oh, wonderful. Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> Look at this time of the year. Oh, the daffodils. Really? <laughs> uh, oh, all right. Off you go with your story. Um, well, many moons ago, I used to work as a, an events organiser, um, in particular weddings. And um, one particular wedding, I had to MC the whole event. So I had to announce all the guests in and um, get everybody into dinner and announce the toast, etc. Yeah. And this particular wedding, the mother of the bride was a real cow. She was a real... <laughs> she just did nothing but complain about the room was too hot, too cold, things weren't right. Anyway, um, I announced the toasts and uh, she came up and said that the champagne was too warm, so I said, oh, I'll, I'll sort it, I'll sort it. Um, went out to the kitchens and then let rip and screamed about what a complete nut of bitch she was and um, said that the poor groom um, get moving into that part of the family and hope his wife didn't turn out like the mother-in-law bitch. And at that point, one of the waitresses came up to me and went... And I was holding the microphone in my hand. Oh! Uh, who's up next? Who's up next? Hello. Hello. Now, for a frightening moment, I thought you didn't have a top on. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you do. She's gone with nude. It's very on trend, Kate. Very on trend, nude. Yeah. Uh, what's your name? I'm Carissa. Right. And uh, where are you from? I'm from Australia. And uh, do you live here now? Or are you just visiting? Yes, I've been here three months. Three months? What do you do to fill your time, Carissa? I'm in the market for a pattern cutting job at the moment, Graham. Pattern cutting? Yes. Pattern cutting. Anyone? <laughs> no, no Graham. Okay. She'd only uh... told me yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Carissa, off you go with your story. Okay, I was at um, the Big Day Out, which is a big music festival. We it's know big... what it is! <laughs> <laughs> we live here! <laughs> I was in the crowd watching The Killers and the crowd was quite tight and getting packed so I grabbed my over-the-shoulder bag and started jumping up and down and the guy next to me sort of gave me a hey uh, wink sort of nod and I'm yeah. like, what? And I looked down to see that I actually had a hold of the crutch of his shorts jumping up and down <laughs> <laughs> um, and not my handbag in the so, uh, who's there? Who's there? Hello. Hi. Hi, what's your name? Michelle. Michelle, lovely. And uh, where are you from, Michelle? I'm from Peru. Really? Yes. Wow. <laughs> That's a first, ladies and gentlemen. We have not had a Peruvian. But where? Oh. She's from Peru. Oh, so she's pearly. <laughs> Really, like she's lying. <laughs> really? I know somebody must be from Peru. But then she's not. Yeah. She's not going to be sitting on a llama. It's <laughs> just, just yeah, arrived. With, just with, arrived. With, with those terrible pound vibes. vibes. <laughs> yeah. Where are you from? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, <laughs> on, yes. Sorry, my dear. We've been distracted now. Uh, uh, do you, but you live here now. 
Yes, I live in London. All oh, right, what do you do? I'm a chef. Oh, right. Like a posh restaurant or, or Peruvian uh, well, restaurant? Now, now I'm a private chef. A Fancy. private chef? Yeah. In somebody's house? Yes. So is someone watching this now going, where's my dinner? <laughs> Beans on toast, where is she? <laughs> uh, off you go with your story. Um, my parents came over to visit um, me and my fiance. Mm -hmm. And my dad's very environmentally friendly. So on their first night, he decided to turn off all the appliances. <laughs> <laughs> What was amazing what was amazing about this, and I think I might have got an insight into what you're like as a director there. She went, so, and Sean just turned around and went. <laughs> and just, in, in his eyes, he just went, she's not gonna survive. <laughs> it, was a, it was a beautiful moment. Uh, let's try another one. Let's try another one. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 I think... No, you're what, clearly enjoying it, John. What, what, <laughs> Graham, what is the record for the most number of people that have been crunched out? Well, we don't, we'll run out. <laughs> this lot can all get in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Six, 600 who, people. Who wants to be dumped by Sean Fair? <laughs> OK, let's go another one now. Hi, what's your name? I'm Maggie. Maggie? Mm -hmm. Good luck, Maggie. Uh, <laughs> where do you live, Maggie? Um, I'm South African, but I live in Ascot. In... Ascot. She lives in an escort. <laughs> oh, she's driving around. Escort. Don't do it. She lives in a car. <laughs> <laughs> no, is it Ascot? Ascot. Yes. Ascot. Yes. Yes. Where the races Ascot. are. Yes, yes. Yeah, OK, brilliant. Uh, so, off you go with your story. Um, a few years ago, um, my husband and I took the family to France in Normandy um, for a holiday. Yeah. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> and we were in the... Keep going! <laughs> And uh, we were on the water slides, and we kept going up and down the slides with the kids, going, having fun. And then my husband decided to go. <laughs> to go and keep buy, going, keep going. Buy some ice cream for us. And then um, I was wearing a nice gold uh, swimsuit, and I thought I looked really hard. <laughs> On the next one, can you do me a favour? On the next one, when you can you do like a kick like you did to that bloke's? <laughs> can you dump them like you're kicking them out of the yeah. chair? We'll give you a shovel to hit the stage. <laughs> okay. Hello, sir. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Jake. Jake. Lovely Jake. And uh, what do you do? Uh, I'm a student of uh, drama and applied theatre and education. Ooh, now. Oh. Act or die. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was doing the Imri technique. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go with your story. Uh, well, my story starts in Zimbabwe, where I uh, volunteered for three months in my gap year last year. Yeah. Um, and it's what? My gap, gap year. year. Yeah. Gap What's year. What's that? It's a thing that uh, rich kids take. Uh... <laughs> that would be exactly why I don't know what it is. <laughs> the, the way you pronounce it, it's like you would say gap year. We have that get a job here. <laughs> yeah, save up to go to college here. Yeah, yeah no. Live on a mattress and don't go to college. <laughs> the, the way he said it, you know, it's like gap year, but he said gap year. Gap, yeah, he's <laughs> yeah. No, no, he was being funny. He was being yeah. funny. Yeah. He was being funny. Uh, anyway, you're in Zimbabwe. You volunteered yep. to do uh, something. Yes. I was Help, some... presumably. Children or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. very good. teaching in a school. Uh, very good. Uh, mildly relevant. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I had an argument with my housemates and I decided to cool off, I should go for a run. So I decided, you know what? I should probably go for a run. And <laughs> unfortunately, we were surrounded oh, I'm by... I'm sorry. Yeah. We didn't need you for that one. That was... <laughs> that was some very poor storytelling right there. Can, can we put him back in and watch Sean kick it? <laughs> we'll have one more. We'll have one more and see if Sean I'm will so kick it. I'm so glad you don't um, have these for us. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You, you join us on quite a tough evening. <laughs> we're done. We're done. We're done. Uh, hi. Hello. What's your name? Ruben. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever he does for a living, 
I, I love bet it. it's not long and short term lessing. <laughs> what, what do you do, sir? I do uh, visual effects for television and film. Although, right now, I'm employed. <laughs> 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 the, the, the key word there was unemployed. There's a lot of words before unemployed, but... What are you gonna do about it? That's the question. We, we've given him a job. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> okay, okay, I'll be... I forgot to understand this. But I'll be, I'll not, be going with your story. Not really a story, but I'm wearing a kilt, so I'm kind of daring you. Oh! To... Oh, do, do so we just... You want to. So we just did that. Are you wearing anything under the kilt? Uh, I mean, oh, you'll have to find out. Do we just do this, then? Okay, legs akimbo, here we go. Oh, no, I've got that. Look at the sound of the television. Well, we, we thank him, but we don't know his name. Uh, I believe it was... By the way, he didn't even have a story. He was just like, I'm wearing a kilt. Hi, who's there? Hi, who's there? It's Christine. It's Christine. How are you, Christine? Very well, thank That's you. That's good. And uh, where do you live, Christine? I live in London. And what do you do? I'm a PhD student. Uh, of? Uh, epidemiology. <gasps> Ooh, <laughs> epidemiology. No, no. <laughs> She's an epidemiologist. This will be interesting. <laughs> it's something to do with the skin. Is that skin? Um... She doesn't know. Wow, know. no, that's... <laughs> <laughs> She's doing a PhD in it. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Really, Good that boy. was piss poor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> uh, uh, next, please. Hello. Hi. Hi, what's your name? I'm Natasha. Natasha. And uh, where are you from, Natasha? I'm from South End in Essex. The South End in Essex? Yes. Oh, they love it. Yes. And uh, <laughs> w what do you do, Natasha? I'm a medical student. Oh, right. And then what will you be? Like a doctor or a... A doctor. A do I'll be a doctor, all right. Yeah. I'll be a doctor of everything. Yeah, that's me, yeah. Unlike that first woman. Uh, <laughs> all right, Natasha, off you go with your story. Um, yeah, so about seven years ago, I went to Belize and Guatemala, and I went in the jungle for a bit, and oh, I yes. came back covered in mosquito bites. And two weeks later, one of them still hadn't gone, and I was getting this really sharp um, stinging pain in my arm, and my doctor thought it was just infected, but I'd heard the horror story, so I covered it in Vaseline, and I put a plaster on it and later that night it was really itchy so I peeled off the plaster and there was this little like worm just trying to pop out of my arm. Oh! Like, oh, tremors. Um, so I went to A&E, they cut my arm open, they pulled out a worm about five centimeters long oh! and I got to carry it around in the specimen pot for about two weeks before I had to send it off to make sure it all come out. <laughs> She should be allowed to... It was a very bad ending to that story, but I feel she should be allowed to walk, yes? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. you can walk. Yes! Yeah. 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 Get a worm in her arm. That's a good story. Yeah, a doctor, good. Uh, yeah, she's a doctor. But um, she couldn't tell it was a worm. <laughs> <laughs> she, she put some Vaseline on a Band-Aid on it. <laughs> That's wrong when I get to think. <laughs> uh, Rebel? I just... I once had a spider lay spider eggs, and I thought it was just a pimple, until one day it popped and little spiders came out. Faking that up. No! <laughs> I'm from Australia, like, we have a lot of spiders. <laughs> and, um, it was freaky, and I thought, like, oh, I was an alien or something. <laughs> but happily not. But I'm fine now. Yeah! <laughs> Kid Harrington's looking at you like, oh, my God. <laughs> What am I sitting you, next to? If you want it, I've still got, like, the little... Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well done, all the people in the big red chair. Who's up first? Hi, it's Caroline. Hi. Well, she's on it. <laughs> Hi, Caroline, where are you from? Well, I'm from Ireland originally. Oh, yes. What, 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 what part? What part? Uh, West Cork. Oh, really? Which, which bit of West Cork? Skull. Oh, Skull. I know it well. Yes, they have a lovely regatta, you. A lovely oh, regatta. Nice. <laughs> yes. Yes. OK, uh, off you go with your story. OK, um, I got snubbed by the Queen. What, you got stabbed by the Queen? <laughs> <laughs> snubbed, snubbed. Yes, um, I was at Ascot and I was in the royal enclosure. I've been to Skull, far from the royal enclosure she was wearing. <laughs> Are you understanding any of this, David? I have no idea whether... <laughs> but I 
was putting my smiley you face were. at you. Yes. 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 Yeah, exactly. Very good. Okay, okay. L last one, last one. Hello. Hi. Uh, what's your name? Jade. Jade? Yes. And uh, what do you do, Jade? I work in events. In events? Yeah. <laughs> she works in events. <laughs> Like, do you mean, like, what sort of events, Jade? Um, I work in a venue. A venue? <laughs> <laughs> Are you, in fact, a barmaid? I work at the Science Museum. Oh, the Science Museum! <laughs> Why were you hiding that light under a bushel? <laughs> Fascinating, Jade. <laughs> now, uh, uh, off you go with the story, Jade. Um, so, when I was 12 and Notting Hill had just come out, I was watching it in my room and there's a part where Hugh Grant says, all I've got at home is a masturbating Welshman. I just assumed that masturbating meant watching TV. <laughs> so when my mum shouted up to me, what are you up to, Jade? I replied back going, just masturbating in my room, Mum. <laughs> What's your name? Jessica. Jessica, lovely. And uh, what do you do, Jessica? Oh dear, they asked me this earlier. I'm a real estate sustainability consultant. <laughs> A great way to open. Who's up next? Who's up next? It's John from London. Hello, John What's from London. John? What do you do, John? I'm a plumber. And are you wearing shorts, John? Yeah, it's hot Friday, isn't it? <laughs> He can... I like it. All he, Fridays he can, are hot. He can predict yeah. the weather. <laughs> Plumber and meteorologist. Yeah, I do both. Uh, I'll think over this story, Tom. I got called out to a job in Chelsea for block trains. Me and my partner was there. We've gone there, we've unblocked, done the blockage. Oh, the lady of the house said... <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey, that was impressive. So it was New Year about four years ago. Um, I had lots of friends over. Um, we were drinking, and throughout the evening, the doorbell kept ringing. And uh, I ran upstairs to my front door, opened the front door, couldn't see anyone there, um, apart from um, a man walking down the street. So I yelled out at him, um, why are you ringing on the doorbell? Stop bloody ringing on the doorbell. It's bloody annoying. And uh, the man looked really, really confused. And turned to me and walked a bit closer and said, Oh, hello, um, uh, lovely to meet you. My name's Mark. I'm your new neighbour. And it was Mark from Take That. <laughs> Is that true? Is that true? <laughs> Do you recognise her? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 my eyes, my eyes, my eyes have gone. My eyes, my eyes! <laughs> where, where, where was the house? In, In Wandsworth. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> Should, should she walk or should we flip her, Mark? No, uh, no, no, don't flip her, no. So she can walk? <laughs> no, she was having a, you was having a party, wasn't you? I was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. So why were you knocking on the door? Because I was being a bit old. <laughs> and I was, I was asking them to turn the noise down. <laughs> you can walk. You can walk, baby. Well done. Paul? Yes? And uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from uh, Colchester in Essex. Colchester in Essex, and what do you do there? Uh, well, I don't work in Colchester, I work in Chelmsford, but I work in uh, retail fashion. God is in the detail. Uh, I, I tell you where he is from is the bridge of the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> That's where he's from. So, when I was 13 years of age, I was playing golf on a sunny day in June. <laughs> and <laughs> um, it started, the hailstones started falling, so I put my umbrella up and I got struck by lightning. Huh? My <laughs> three friends watched me get hit by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> I, I phoned my dad and he um, didn't, didn't dad? believe me and told me to play on. <laughs> <laughs> hospital and my hand was paralyzed for half a day and I had um, no feeling in my arms for six months. <laughs> Should we let him walk too? If he can. If he can. You can walk. You can walk. Oh, that's, that's great. Rafferty Fox. Uh, did you change your name to Rafferty Fox? Nah. Dead. <laughs> so your mother and father decided to, to, to name you Rafferty. Yeah, it's Dad's favourite pub.
Is that your story? Yeah, it's pretty beyond. Uh, off you go with the story, Lada. Oh, well, basically, tonight was very exciting for me uh, because from the time I was about 13 years old, I used to have a kind of fantasy or dream about Mr. Stallone being my father. She may be, I might be, it's scary. Oh my god. Well, Benedict Cumberbatch and I were actually at the same boarding school. Uh, we both went to Harrow, and there are lots of rumours circulating about what he got up to there. So I thought I'd use this. Do it now. 